Today we're working in Calabasas. The, the, the property behind me has uh, window leaks in, in the upper and perhaps even the lower windows. Um, we are going to do the E1105 test today. Uh, we're going to compartmentalize, pressurize chambers, um, exterior spray rack, uh, see if we can source out that, uh, that water intrusion. <laughs> Escalella. There you go. Escalade. So do you think that leak is, do you see any stains up any higher than that though? Thank you. 
Simon. Oh. <laughs> it sucks. Take a look at the vacuum systems we're going to be running on today. I have just uh, two different backs. I think they're both three quarter horse. These are the gauges right there. The magnet helix are the ones that we're using today on this test. This one right there. These these gauges over here for air infill. So I could be running those today. See what Steve's doing. What do you got going on there, man? Wow, this one's kind of tough, man. I think you broke it. Okay, so what we're doing now is putting together the spray rack that we're going to be using at the back of the house on those two windows that you saw us demoing earlier. Um, inside's going to be the negative air infiltration, um, the chamber, the vacuum, that apparatus, and on the outside is going to be the spare room. I think what we're going to do is just use... We're going to set up this vacuum to test the lower chamber first. What we do is we cut a small hole, put the vacuum, close in the in the bottom. We take the differential hose, same thing. Try to, try to separate them. One below me. Yep. systems you know we're trying to get that even that 0.38 but I what I did on yours is I ended up caulking around the, the perimeter and <laughs> it's like I, I might have to loosen it up it's so tight so we'll see what's up we'll see what happens <laughs> all right let's uh all the tight yeah let me um you know what I want to do is get down from the same so 
so I can... I oh, can, I can Yeah, I, I think his problems were down there below. Okay. Hey, Steve, hold on a second. Throw back. So we'll do, let's run it at 34 miles an hour. So we're gonna, okay, 34 mile an hour gust. So we have water, water infusion here. At four minutes, at four minutes we have it right, right there. Put it on, turn off. Okay. That's going to be, um, that's going to be an insulation though, right there. That, that leak that we have here. If you want to see it, you're more than welcome to. So this means what now? So this would be the installation right here. We're going to isolate it and, and do it again. Let's see that water mm -hmm. coming in on the front side of the window. So, so fenestration leaks, fenestration leaks are essentially water passing through the, 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 the product itself. Fenestration leaks are actually pretty, well, they're very obvious because it's, you'll have water infiltrating within this, this plane here, right? So here, right there at the sill, you might have it here, you might, you'll literally see it coming through the glass. That, that is, I mean, you can see, looking down here, way at the front, you can mm -hmm. see the, you can see the infiltration right Hey Steve, well, we're gonna go ahead and turn the water off. We're gonna dry it 
and isolate the glass and do it one more time. Okay. Okay, uh, we're gonna do it again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the glass and just shoot the ball again. Yeah. Oh, the whole thing? Or? So let's take off. Um, let's go ahead and drive the new Let me go out there and I'll move the rack. Let me just get this thing off. Okay. Get it, get it, get it. Is this where you get into the discussion about, you know, too much of you know? You mean the arguments? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is exactly where it happens. One side I have the uh, owner who uh, is looking at the contractor and the contractor is looking at me, yelling at me. Well, you put on too much water, of course it's going to leak. And then my answer is always, man, you should, I should be able to hit a fire hose on that thing and it should be fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. So, so give me a few. We're gonna dry it. We're gonna we're gonna plastic off just the product itself. We're gonna dry and we're gonna run the test one more time. <laughs> 